They go are going through the Dark Moon Valley for targeting more valuable rewards since there's no one daring to hunt some monsters because of it high level. Since the game was already 10 hours have been passed since it was publicly launched there are high possibility that the majority of the elites in workshops are still in level 1 and he manages to get level 2 with a simple information from closed beta testing since they gave it to him. His friend was so hyped up knowing that he was right about this so he follows him to his journey to be stronger. While they are talking to each other someone was spying them from behind and wondering for going a level 4 zone thinking he's into something. While exploring his friend saw a monster with a blue name. This is a level 2 cunning snow fox with 450 health points. Feng was so excited and thanking Blackie for finding a blue named monster because this is a rare elite monsters and this is hard to find. He didn't waste any time and started to rush at the fox while ordering to Blackie as DPS from range and leave the rest to Feng. Feng used the huge rock to hide his presence from the monster and he chopped the fox and he deals a 32 damage. Even though he strike first, the monster wouldn't even barge from his attack and Feng was so shocked from the fox for being sturdy. The fox started to lunge at him with furious looking. He tries to block its attack using his sword to avoid taking a huge damage. Unfortunately, the fox was so strong that makes him flew away with a 49 damage at him. Blackie was so scared while thinking he might die from the fox, but Feng ordered him to snap out from his day and help him to attack the fox. Blackie used dark arrow and he manages to hit the fox on its body. After he hit the fox he got shock after putting all his points into his intelligence to increase his spell damage but he only manages to deal 5 damage from the fox. Feng tries to pursue him to attack the fox while he's trying to attract the fox and Blackie must take the aggro. Blackie keeps shooting his black arrow to the fox for the micro damages while Feng tries to fight the fox in close range combat, but he got hard time from the monster being so powerful and manages to deal 55 damage at him. He kicks the fox to let go from its powerful bite. The other guy keeps spying them and underestimating them for not knowing their limits. Feng's health points were so low while the fox was having half of its health points. The fox lunges at him again and he tries to block its bite with his sword again. Unfortunately, the durability of novice sword is falling and will be destroyed sooner. So, Blackie calls him out to run away from the situation so he can avoid to die for the first time at the game. He used his knee at the fox's abdomen to let go from the sword. Feng knows he's already screwed up if he keeps going on so he must start to use some of his ultimate moves. While the wolf dashes towards him he dodges it and tumbles while drinking a potion mid-air. He drinks a mysterious iron beer and has a effect that any enemy in his sight will decrease level by 2. Meaning the fox will be level 0 while Feng will be level 2 to gives him advantage to fight this fox. He dashes toward the wolf without any hesitation and manages to slicing it without an ease. He keeps slicing up the fox and dealing a huge amount of damage to it after drinking the mysterious beer. Blackie can't believe of what he saw after Feng drinks the bottle and all of a sudden became so powerful. Feng prepares for the last strike to end the fox. As he about to do his final strike at the fox he noticed someone approaching him while in a stealth form. Someone strikes him up but Feng manages to dodge this attack and he has no idea who was this guy. This guy was a level 2 named Quiet Wolf, and he compliments Feng after dodging his attack even he's in Estelle. Somehow the fox began acting strange and suddenly changes its form. The fox became so huge and granting a monster gigantification that adds its attack power, speed and its health increased by 20%. This giant wolf started to attack him while he's in recovery state of himself. Blackie warns Feng out from the assassin trying to pull him off with a pincer attack. So, Feng reacted to this immediately to make strategy to attack him. He came up with an idea while the fox attacking. He kicks the fox's head with a powerful blow that makes the fox turn. Because of this kick he turned around and gets the attention of the assassin that leads of being bitten by the fox. The fox spit the assassin out after making a sudden attack that leads of his death. Feng calls out for Blackie again to continue his attacks at the fox while he's fighting it in a close range. They began to fight this huge fox while Blackie trying to make a micro damages and Feng deals a close range combat damage. Finally, the system noticed for killing a rare elite cunning snow fox and they gained a 10 experience point. They received a normal blackwood staff as a reward after killing the fox. This wand gives a plus 8 magic attack, plus 3 wisdom, plus 1 mind and plus 30 mana points. Feng gives this staff to Hai Zai since he's a swordsman player, and he has nothing to do with this staff. Hai Zai was so shy to take the staff after Feng deals more damage than him at the fox. But Feng stated that he's a swordsman so he can't use it for himself so he will give it to him. Both of they were so happy after having a successful engagement with a powerful monster. On the other side Flaming Tiger was so furious after knowing one of his underlings have failed to kill a level 2 swordsman which is Feng. 
Quiet Wolf tries to lie at Flaming Tiger that he faced two player at the same time and he has no match for them. After knowing this Flaming Tiger calls out all his underlings to come at them to snatch their equipment. Meanwhile, Fang and Hai Zai goes for a forging area to wait more time to trigger the mission that they will go. After 10 minutes, the forger asks them if they interested in forging. Fang replies yes sir I like forging ever since he was a kid. After this they accepted another hidden mission for the forge path. They must acquire 100 meteorite ore from the Crimson Star Mine and bring to Master Blacksmith Jack. Both of them goes for the Crimson Star Mine and this area recommends a player must level 4 because the monster here was a level 4 cobble. Fang throws a smoke grenade and this grenade will make the monster lose its field of vision with 10 by 10 yards that will last for 1 hour. As the smoke grenade lands at these monsters, he wants Haizai to attack these monsters inside the smoke screen but he got shocked because he has no idea from Fang's plans. He has no choice than follow his order and he started to attack one of the cobbles. He deals more damage this time because he deals a 21 damage unlike the last time. He got scared at the cobbled after looking in front of him but Feng explains him that the smoke grenade can make a monster's vision reduced by 10 yards meaning the current field of vision of the cobbles inside the smoke was 25 and he only needs to maintain a 30 hard distance from these monsters. So must continue on attacking these monsters without any hesitations. Haizai starts to cast his attacks from these monsters simultaneously. Finally, he took down one of the kobolds. Because of this he got hyped up to attack these monster without any ease because of his advantages. After a long time he manages to kill a bunch of kobolds without taking any engagements with these monsters. After Haizai drinks his mana potions, he noticed the item dropped are just few meteorite stones and a level 3 cloth armor. Feng knows about this but he knows that every 100 cobbled only drop one meteorite stone and Haizai's luck was great after dropping a few meteorite after killing few cobbles. Feng rushes to look for another group of cobbles to farm more. After he saw a bunch of group of cobbles he used another smoke screen after luring them out at Haizai's position. Haizai was so happy at, and he started to keep attacking the monster with an excitement at his face. While killing each monster they gained 40 experience and finally they leveled up at the same time. Haizai wants to give him a loot from the be killed kobolds. All of a sudden, a stealth assassination happens again behind of Haizai. There's three people attacks him at the same time that comes from his back. Luckily, he leveled up so he gains much more health point that helps him to survive. He got surrounded by three people at the same time. He charges his dark arrow to cast it while the quiet wolf started to charge in front of his with determination to end him up. When he cast the dark arrow at him, he deals a 185 at the quiet wolf. He was so shocked after dealing this much damage unlike before. Quiet wolf ordered to his comrade to engage him since got less than half health points. They lunges at him at the same time without any hesitation since close range was the weakness of a mage type player. Hai Zai almost lose his hope because these assassin about to reach him but unexpectedly someone helps him that deals a huge amount of damage while attacking them at the same time. It was Feng that helps him after seeing Hai Zai struggling from these assassin. Hai Zai was so amazed at him after he deals at multiple at the same time without an ease. Suddenly another group charging at them that leads by Flaming Tiger. Their guild wants to punish them from what they did from earlier at the marketplace. Feng used another smoke screen to hide themselves from the Flaming Tiger Alliance so they could retreat as soon as possible. Everyone got confused after they used smoke screen to hide their appearance. Some of Flaming Tiger's comrades have been scared since the area they've been battlefield was a spawn of level 4 cobbles and their level are too low for this. He ordered to his underlings to lure the cobbles to the smoke screen and the make will be do the same thing like what Feng and Hai Zai did earlier to deal with these cobbles. Hai Zai asks Feng if they have to let them. Feng replies to these question with we will let them enjoy themselves for now but they shall soon understand that great joy often begets to sorrow. Just a moment the smoke screen has been worn off and the kobolds are starting to notice them. The smoke screen was gone after a few moments. The kobolds started to attack the flaming tiger's underlings and they can't fight back since they are low level. His comrade's number decreases each time kobolds started to attack them simultaneously. Flaming Tiger calls for a retreatment from their situation since they can't do anything to fight these powerful monsters. But it was too late and most of his comrades have been losing and dying rapidly. When he's running, two kobolds lunges at them to attack them up and they have nothing to do than running from these powerful monsters. After a long run, he was so exhausted after being chased by the kobolds. Just a moment Feng approaches him saying why he here all alone. What was happened to his underling? Are they wiped out by kobolds? Because of this he gone mad and started lunges at Feng. As he tries to chop Feng off, he gone with a dark essence from his last position. Suddenly he came out from Flaming Tiger's back and slice him off. He mocks him for aiming nothing and saying he was behind him. 
Flaming Tiger tries to turn around to attack him with a wide swing of his axe. But Feng dodges this flawlessly without doing any counter-attacks. Because of his rapid attack he gone tired and getting exhausted after swinging his heavy axe. He demands to Feng to stop evading and fight him like a real man but Feng replies at him alright I'll stand still and come hit me. Without any hesitation Flaming Tiger attacks him furiously without thinking because of desperation to kill him. Feng used Thundering Flash without moving at his position and it deals a huge amount of damage at Flaming Tiger. After Flaming Tiger falls to his back he said that he only stands still and he didn't say anything about not countering his attack and he is so naive. Before Flaming Tiger gun he thanks him for saving his time and effort for farming for him so much so he could finally get the ore for himself. Flaming Tiger dies from the game and he swore that he will not forgive Feng for what he did. He respond and having a system notice of he have been killed by Yi Feng and his level dropped by 1 and his proficiency in all skills will be dropped by 100. He told to everyone to check their inventories and tally their losses. As he checks his inventory the skill book has been gone at his inventory. He wants to everyone to prepare themselves to go back at the Dark Moon Valley as soon as possible to kill Feng. Suddenly a call from someone came up for him. This was his brother Jang and he scolded Flaming Tiger for being no longer squad leader. And if he doesn't manage to get level 2 by the time he gets in Redleaf Town he will be punished and the call ended after this. Because of this he got so mad after what Yi Feng did to him. Feng and Hai Zai looking for valuable item that left after the Flaming Tiger's raid gone lost. They are so happy after getting a huge amount and valuable items after losing their raid at them. Feng learned another skill Wind Blade that designed to suppress long-ranged attackers. This skill will launch a vicious flurry of sneak attack on an enemy with a certain range and upon usage his movement speed and attack speed will be increased by 15% and 10% respectively. Hai Zai also wants learn more skill but Feng replies that he has to wait for next Flaming Tiger visit like what he did this time. Hai Zai notices a dark green rock for the first time. Feng knows this rock is star crystal with a drop rate of only 1%. Hai Zai got so excited after thinking it was a precious treasure because of its drop rate. Feng tells him that it worth nothing but the meantime of the game progress it will be valuable so he must forget about it this time and continue looting up. As they go from the blacksmith, they give all the requirements from the hidden quest. The forger was so happy for completing the first step however he wanted to continue proving their strength. Just a sudden another hidden quest from Road of Forging came up. They have to kill the elite kobold chieftain in the Crimson Star Mine within one hour. Because of this Feng remembers that he never heard of this in his past life. The elite kobold was level 5 but it's a monster on par with a dungeon boss and a player only stand a chance of victory if they have team up and Haizai asks him if there's something wrong. Feng replies that the quest will be slightly difficult and Haizai replies with you leading the team all quest will be a piece of cake. Because of this Feng noticed of him being confident while he's being a coward just an hour ago. They arrived at the Crimson Star with a bunch of kobolds awaits them. Feng ordered to Hai Zai to prepare and begin the fight with these monsters. Feng used the Wind Blade for the first time to lunge at the monsters. Because of the Wind Blade's buffs, he killed the level 2 kobold easily. While Hai Zai used Dark Arrow and targets multiple kobolds and killing it instantly. As time goes by, they manage to kill these kobolds without taking any damage from it. After clearing up the dungeon. Hai Zai said that their mission at this place seems easy since they killed the kobolds easily, but Feng wanting him to pay attention and they aren't yet gotten to the main quest. Just a moment a heavy footstep approaching up them and Hai Zai yells that the boss was coming at them this time. Feng got excited for showing up their target for their mission. A huge monster with beast looking creature showed up and this is the elite kobold chieftain that they must kill within in one hour inside the Crimson Star. Hai Zai got scared from the elite kobold status after having a huge gap from within if they got hit, they will be killed instantly. Feng got no choice than using the forbidden sword that he receives from a hidden mission earlier. So, he takes a risk since he doesn't want to lose the mission even though it's so hard for them. He remembers the Red Blood War Axe once held blood-colored demon weapon Red Ghost Large Axe and kills thousands of warriors in guild. But in the end, it became famous in final battle after created the god-glorious God War Empire. But he also seen before that weapon reverse to devour that could make the owner as a weapon slave. The system pops up to ask him if he wanted to bind himself from the magic weapon Abyssal Blade. Since he left no choice he bind himself and he knows about this sword from his past he take a risk to avoid the possibility he got controlled by the sword. Another warning came up saying that once he binds himself the effect can't be undone and the player must bear all possible consequences when Abyssal Blade successfully gets binded. A huge dark dragon showed up while the binding progressing at him from the abyssal blade. Finally the binding have gone successful from him, and the user level dropped to level 0. 
Hai Zai got shocked after Feng's level dropped to level 0. But he told him that he mustn't worry at him and his current state was much better than before. The Abyssal Blade is a magic weapon with a single hand sword type and a level 0 requirements. This sword has a huge buff to the user that all attributes increase by 10, plus 3 attack speed, ignore 5 level of monster, 15% chance of dealing 2 times damage, 10% of causing curse effect that make enemy attributes decrease 30%, swordsman occupation, skill level increases by plus 2 and each increase in level allow the gain of 2 attributes. Embed skill phantom skill, abyss bind and hydra slash. The elite kobold chieftain spawns a bunch of kobolds as reinforcement. These kobolds started to dash as towards them indicating they going to engage them. Fang ordered Hai Zai to hide at one side and leave the rest to him and Hai Zai agrees to this. The kobolds started to charge at him. Fang focuses to cast his skill since it was his first time to use a curse weapon. He manages to deal a power attack with these kobolds without moving at his position. As the elite kobold attacks him, he managed to dodge this easily. The kobold was so furious and he turn around to attack him. The elite kobold manages to slice him in half. Thank you for watching. If you found this video interesting don't forget to like comment and hit the subscribe button for more content like this. Stay awesome, goodbye.